Hello and welcome bookworms. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We're looking at The Secret of Platform 13 by Eva Ibbotson. Now I love this book and I saw I saw an Instagram reel the other day and it absolutely cracked me up because the amount of books that I've reviewed on this channel which have held a sentimental value to me because I read it when I was younger and it's the nostalgia thing and they said something along the lines of no bond will ever be stronger than that of the uh, of a girl who read a book when they were a teenager. Um, and honestly, I was laughing so hard because it is true. It, but it's the same thing with films, like with, with some films as well, like you'll watch it as a child and it'll have that nostalgia feel. And then when you get older and you watch it and you show it to someone new and they go, oh, this isn't, this isn't a great film. And you're kind of angry because nostalgia wise, you love that film. I know my husband showed me films that he's loved as a kid and he shows them to me and I'm like, ah, oh, right. Well. And I've done the same to him. But this, this book is so cute. So essentially, I mean, we all know that King's Cross, Platform Nine and Three Quarters, Harry Potter, we are aware of that. I'm rolling my eyes like I'm not a huge Harry Potter nerd, slithering all the way. But this one, looks at platform 13 at King's Cross. The King's Cross has it all going on, clearly. We need to we need to go to King's Cross more. So platform 13 has what's known as a gump. So a gump is a gateway to another another realm, as it were. And you can go through this realm, but it only opens every nine years, okay? Um, and it opens for nine days every nine years. So essentially, the plot is the king and queen of this, this realm um, and they are lovely, you know, they, they don't live in a palace, they live in like a, a house, you know, they're, they're, they're near all the, the people that they love. Um, and they have a little boy and they love this little boy. And they hire some nannies to look after the boy and then the nannies go through the gump just to get some fish and chips because they miss it because they used to be school teachers and they, they miss the good old fish and chips. And then while they're there, the baby gets kidnapped because there's an evil woman that wants to have a kid, can't have a kid, so decides, and she's not evil because she can't have a kid. She's evil because she decides that she deserves a kid. She can't have a kid. And so to circumvent everything legally, she just kidnaps a random baby. So obviously the nurses go back thinking they've got the baby, the gump closes and everybody's heartbroken. And then nine years later, Odge, uh, who is a hag, um, together with other magical creatures, go back through the gump to try and find this baby that was stolen nine years previously to get him back through to where he needs to be. And then, I mean, I'm not, this isn't a spoil because it is very obvious as soon as you meet the two boys that there is a case of mistaken identity. So they believe the boy that is the son of the evil woman is the prince that they're looking for. However, what turns out is that the the, the mum was able to go away and actually have a child. So the child that she kidnapped, she put to work. Because the like the help that was helping her kidnap it <laughs> decided, no, 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 you can't. I will go to the police if you throw this child out. Like you've got to raise this child. So then obviously they make they make friends with the scullery boy. Um, and they're like, well, do you know what? He needs to come back with us. And it's it's like the adventure of sort of like, cause we like, cause obviously this is a kid's book. It is. So we are supposed to know pretty much straight away. I mean, obviously if you're reading it to children, they might not. Um, but there are some very clever children out there. Uh, <laughs> my best friend, Jo, her little one, my God, she's whip smart. But we are, we, it's really obvious when we start reading it. And it's the, what I love is it's the suspense of being like, we know, but when will they find out? Do you know what I mean? And it's like, you've got the horrible boy Raymond um, and you're just like, he's not the prince. And then they're trying this so hard to like convince this, this boy Raymond that he's the prince. And it's quite obvious that he's not the prince. And it's just, it's such a fun little adventure. And there's that little bit of suspense being like, come on, like, do you know what I mean? And it is a nostalgia read for me. So you might read it and you might be like, this is simple, simplistic. This is not that greatly written, but I love it. I love it. I've loved it for years. And when I was 
a, a good sort of like six years ago or so and I was I was looking to buy it again and I could not find it because when I originally had it I had it with the little with the little mist maker so they're not seals they're mist makers on the cover and I could not find that cover and I was getting really upset because I wouldn't get it without that cover because that cover is what kind of drew me to it so Michael found that cover for me and got that book for me and it is it just holds a special place in my heart and I love it um and honestly, I think she, she wrote the story incredibly well. You know, the characters, because again, it's a children's story. They're not supposed to be overly complex, but I feel like there was enough complexity in them that you kind of sat there being like, oh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I think we all know what happens. But it is such a fun book that I would 100% say go out. I mean, you don't have to have this cover. Like, it's just me and my... And <laughs> my eccentricities uh for having to have certain covers so you don't have to go out and get this cover but what i would 100 percent say is you know go out read it borrow it buy it rent it whatever um and just let me know what you think but thank you so much for your continued support and remember to always keep it consento